I would like to point out the eight differences between the Angus Orlino 200 and the Angus Super. The first difference is, is that there is a cover for the control panel. The second difference is the inner jacket of the boiler is 8mm on the Angus Orlino 200, whereas with the Angus Super it is 6mm. The third difference is the handle. With the Angus Super it uses a cam lock system, whereas with the Angus Orlino 200 it spins on a machine thread and catches on a bolt, as shown. This makes it very easy to shut the doors for both the loading door and the combustion chamber door. The fourth difference is that all the doors on the loading chamber have silicon sealed glass fibre rope. This means that there is no longer any need to use graphite grease or high temperature grease to keep the rope malleable. The fifth difference is the hinges on the loading door and the combustion chamber door can be altered both vertically and horizontally. The sixth difference is the absorber strip. I do have a small amount of carbonisation here but ultimately this is a working boiler. The, absor the absorber strip is such that if you have any smoke loss the absorber strip will try to take any smoke to the side rather than in front. The seventh difference is the casing colours. On the Angus Super it is primarily green, whereas with the Angus Orlino 200 it is red and silver. And the eighth and last difference is that the tappings are at the rear for the Angus Orlino 200, whereas they are on the side for the Angus Super. That does mean that you have a greater degree of flexibility as far as the positioning of this boiler as all the tappings are at the rear face of the boiler. I would stress though that mechanically both wood gasification log boilers are exactly the same. They both have a calorific heat efficiency of 92%. So ultimately these are small variances from one boiler to another and it is ultimately the homeowner to choose which one of these two they prefer.